So this is the front seat. It's got some holes in it and stuff. And it's got kind of gnarly in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the bottom off and then put a new bottom on. This level is about the same thickness as the reinforcing strips in the bottom. So I'm just going to use it as a gauge to make my lines. I have an extra fine plywood saw blade in there. And when you're cutting, you should always remember to set your gauge, set your plywood depth, set your depth appropriately. very thin and then put your saw on the side that's staying not falling away So I cut the bottom off, it came out nice, and all I'm going to do is build another piece for the bottom, and then I'm going to reinforce it. So I'm just going to tack these things in, right here, line it up, get the brad gun. So make a nice strong bottom. Right here in the corner. Make it nice and flush. I'm going to take my panel and put my panel on the bottom. Try to square it up as nice as I can and tack her in there. I think I'm going to take this off. There's a This is the front seat and it has two seats on it. I'm going to take that off. I don't have use for two seats in the front. I really don't see the use. Of keeping this around.
I'm just gonna sand it up a little bit just so I can get some spar urethane out there. So I'm just gonna put a little spar urethane on here. I'm gonna give it a good soak in. I really didn't feel like going out and buying a paintbrush, so I'm just going to use a rag, paper towel to fill it. So, I'm putting together the rower seat. Not the rower seat, it's uh, the front seat. Actually, sorry about that. I'm putting this back together. And it had this weird contraption on it for two seats in the front. I don't want two seats in the front. I mostly fly fish. And that's more of a bait fishing thing, I think. I see a lot of guys in the Salmon River row two. Do two rowers. Uh, two, uh two seats in the front because they like back troll and stuff like that that's not my bag one seat in the front is enough for me so that's what I'm doing gonna put the one seat on the front and I think that'll be good I'll be pretty happy with that I really don't need it it's just gonna get in the way it's a pain enough in a drift boat with the life jacket and stuff you gotta have accessible So now I'm going to find the center of this. It's 39, 7, 8. So 20, roughly. 20, 20 is halfway. So it's 7, 8. So I'm going to go 15, 16, 19, and 15, 16. That's the center line. 19, 15, 16. I'm going to put it directly in the center, so it's 
14 and 5 eighths or 7 and 5 sixteenths. 7 5 sixteenths. Boom. Right there's a the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drill the holes and put the seats on. It's a little too much to try to show film and putting the seats on. I can't get a good angle and it's a pain. So here's the seat installed. So now I have the rolling seat. And I'm going to build, I'm going to build a box for it. So I'm going to put an insert in here. And then I'm going to build the box all the way around on the inside. I'm going to build it just like the other one. So now I've got to make my marks for the notching aspect of this project. So I'm just going to make the marks about where they belong. And then I'm going to measure how deep it is. So it's, I'll go for this one right here. It's three, it's three and three sixteenths. So I'm just popping it right on there, making it match. match over here. Hold some brads in it, hold it together. Then I'm going to flip it over. Do the same thing. Make a match on the bottom so I can adjust right if I have to. You always run a skill saw down it. And then now I'm gonna cut my little blocks for the inside and uh, then put the bottom on. So I got the last of my my bracing for the bottom. Makes it fairly rigid. So, the box is done. The one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple holes in all the corners 
because they need to be able to drain. If they don't drain, the water will just sit in there and rot. That's what happened last time. I'm just drawing a couple small holes here and there. It's not terribly important where they are. I attempted to try to put it on, but it didn't really work. I have to bevel the back of this. I think I took my block in and go right down it. I'm gonna put a 45 on it. The other thing had it, but I thought maybe I could get away without it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. again. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's much better. I'm only putting a few screws in it for the time being. Just to hold it together. So that's on there now, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rower seat on. The rower seat is just this tractor seat. Slide that through. We'll just screw it in. I'm gonna hand thread it for the time being. It was a little tricky to get this farmer seat. Uh, this farmer's tractor seat installed on video, but here you go. Here's the last 
the last piece I'm gonna urethane. It may need a second coat. We'll see what happens. Give it a nice little sanding. The next seat I'm putting together is the rear, the rear seat. Some of these screws get stuck in here. So I'm gonna put it together. And then I'm gonna figure out the holes to mount the seat to it. That one's a little punky, so I'll put it right here. Some of these screws are a little on the small side. That's really useless. I can't use those screws. That's why they just ripped out. So I got the seat. On the top. Now, just enough to get it open. I'm going to mount the seat right here to the center of this. So I made a little mark right here at three and three sixteenths because this is three and three eighths, uh, six and three eighths wide. So I divide it by half so I can line it up. I measured this from here to here, which was 14 and 3 uh, eighths. So I made it seven and 3 sixteenths to find the center. I measured two and a half down, two and a half down to line it up. So I can line it up right there perfect. And I can mark my holes. So I'm gonna mark a hole right there. Mark a hole right there. So I'm only putting two in. So my hole right there. Right 
there, right there. That'll go. Perfect. So I'm gonna put the seat on first because you can't get the screws in without it. So I got the seat temporarily put back in place. It swivels and stuff. Seems like it'll be all right. 